I suffer from a condition called I can't stop saying yes. Same. <laughs> it starts in my lungs. They feel full of cotton balls and gum. I'll take a breath in and a breath out. In, out, in, out, to a point where no actual air is getting in and only wheezing is coming out. My head will spin and my breathing is loud. Speaking of loud, let's talk about my heartbeat as it pounds away in my chest, aching to break free, aching to speak, aching to tell me to leave. Run while the sweat in your palms isn't so bad and go cry your heart out in the bathroom. No, not because I'm sad, but because my tears want to run from the embarrassment as much as I do. I can't hear my own thoughts to speak over the incessant beats of the drummer boy playing on. And I'm lost in thought because I can't quite place the rhythm to the song, so I'm marching along to a beat of someone else's drum. My heartbeat quickens as if revving its engine before taking off without me, tires screeching in the distance, and I feel abandoned. Left for dead to fend off the judging eyes that dig into my skin, I freeze. Unsure of what's expected of me, do I speak? Do I breathe? Do I worry? Because worrying is all I ever do. I'm so tired of worrying. One of the symptoms of my condition is I make it a point to not disappoint. And despite how hard I try to fill up my lungs and to fight the itching on my tongue, I still always say yes. Even if I can't do it, because the worst part is someone thinking I'm unreliable, of them thinking less of me, of them knowing my vulnerability to the outside forces, and of course it is my fault, because I'm the one who opened the vault by saying yes, by breathing loud, by making no sound except my heart pounding. How do you breathe? No, I'm genuinely asking because I feel like I'm drowning in the anxiety of this moment, and I feel broken because I can't compare to the normal people around here. Is there any break from the reality of being scared? Scared of what they might think. Scared of when I'll reach my brain. Why can't I just forget about it? Live my life without wondering everyone's opinions. Stop letting them dig into my self-conscious, because as long as I'm conscious, shouldn't what I think be the major factor on my self-esteem? Mm -hmm.